I'm Judd Wallace, Senior Technical Marketing Manager with Cohesity. I'm here to discuss our Active Directory granular recovery. As you know, Active Directory is essential to organizations worldwide. Many cybersecurity attacks target the entire machine, and in some cases, Active Directory specifically. Today, we'll walk through a scenario where several systems are encrypted, and our domain controller has seven days of missing logs prior to the encryption event. So what do we do first? First, we need to identify which systems and environments have been affected as a starting point. Here we'll log into Helios, we'll click on Security, then Security Center, and Threat Protection. Here we can see several systems which have indeed been encrypted. Now that we better understand the scope of the attack, we have some initial guidance about which domain controller and what subnet to focus on in our investigation. The InfoSec team has let us know that there are seven days of missing event logs on the domain controller. So we're gonna go ahead and perform a quick AD comparison to see what we can determine. Once we have a better sense of the timeline, we can see if there are event logs to restore. Let's head over to data protection and select our Cohesity cluster with the Active Directory Protection Group and backups to perform an AD comparison with a backup prior to the event logs deletion to current impacted state. This allows for an initial triage to understand changes even without event logs. So I wanna note, even without putting AD back into service, we can still see what's going on in the environment. To perform an AD comparison, a couple of things are gonna to need to happen. First, we do what's called an instant volume mount. Then we compare it to the existing Active Directory. So what we'll do here is we'll go under data protection and now we'll click recoveries. And here at the top right, I'm gonna click recovery and then applications and last active directory. Here we'll do a search for the AD servers by typing AD and hitting enter. Next, we'll click on AD server named AD01. Here we need to enter our AD admin credentials and password and the port, and then we'll select the snapshot prior to the encryption event and click continue. Now Cohesity will launch Active Directory by mounting an instant volume. Once the mount is finished, we can compare Active Directory. We can see users added to both my enterprise admin and my domain admin. Even without having access to event logs, we can see immediately this user account is going to be of interest to the investigators. Now we're gonna go ahead and click done and leave the AD mounted in case we need to perform any more forensics by clicking on keep mount and leave. Now let's go over to Helios and then data protection and restore Active Directory to a forensics workstation. This will allow further forensics of the registry and event logs of the domain controller. Now we'll go into recoveries and start an Active Directory recovery by going to data protection and then click on recoveries and then recovery on the right. Now let's select virtual machine, then instant volume mount. We'll search for the AD servers and select AD01. We're going to leave the snapshot set to the latest copy and click on next recover options. Here we'll see we can select the C drive of the domain controller. Next, we're gonna to recover to a new location and select the vCenter instance with our clean room forensics workstation. For target, we'll type CR to find and select the workstation. Last, we'll go ahead and click on Recover. Oftentimes, while we're performing an investigation, we can speed up the process of recovering the business by running actions in parallel, standing up a clean ADE from validated installation media while the forensics investigation is underway, allows systems to be staged and made ready while we wait for the details on the remediation steps. Another thing we need to do is make sure that all the configuration pieces are functioning properly. It is common for a particular group policy object to be out of place or needed or certain configuration components that need to be fixed. We can come in here, we can build a new system, but then we can also make sure that all of the appropriate configuration items are 
in place as well. Whether that's just a matter of making sure that we understand DNS entries or group policy objects or whatever it is. If we have any objects that need to be added back into the newly built systems, we have access to those items and can perform the granular recoveries. In summary, we showed you how organizations can leverage Coecity Data Hawk to identify potentially compromised systems, then perform Active Directory comparison using Cohesity Active Directory granular recovery. How we can restore a domain controller to a clean room for a deeper forensics analysis. Lastly, how in parallel, when a fresh build of Exchange is not coming up correctly, restoring a group policy object can provide the missing configuration to restore services. Thank you for watching and have a great day.